Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about categories of curves. So what makes a curve? Well, a curve basically refers to anything you can scrawl on a piece of paper. It might be relatively uh, messy and disorganized, or it could look a bit more organized. The way we categorize curves are simple or not simple, closed or not closed. A simple curve can be drawn without lifting your pencil from the paper and it never passes through a single point twice. A closed curve has its starting and ending points in the same position, like a loop. And it also can be drawn without lifting your pencil from the paper. So for example, this shape is a simple curve. It can be drawn without lifting a pencil from the paper, it doesn't cross over the same point twice. And if you think of any point on the curve as a starting point, it's going to loop back around and end at that same position. So this is also a closed curve. So we would categorize this as both simple and closed. How about this one? Can it be drawn without lifting the pencil from the paper? Yes. And it definitely doesn't pass through any point twice. So it's a simple curve but it doesn't start and end at the same place. So it's not a closed curve. This is simple, but not closed. How about this one? Is it a simple curve? Well, you can draw it without lifting your pencil from the paper, but it passes through that point in the middle twice. So it's not a simple curve. It is closed, however, because if you imagine any point on here as the starting point, you can imagine coming back to that point as the ending point, it loops around. So this is an example of a curve that is not simple, but it is closed. And how about this one? Is this a simple curve? No, because it passes through one point twice. Is it a closed curve? No, because it begins and ends at two different points. So this is an example of a curve that is neither closed nor simple. Now curves can also be categorized regarding whether they're convex or not convex. A figure is said to be convex if for any two points A and B inside the figure, the line segment that connects A and B is always completely inside the figure. So for example, in the figure on the left, if I put any two points A and B and connect them with a line segment, that line segment is completely contained in the diagram. So that one's convex. On the other hand, the figure on the right, which looks like a star, I can find two points A and B such that if I connect them, the line segment that joins them is not completely contained. It sticks out. So this is not convex. Sometimes not convex is referred to as concave. You can see that this has a dent in it. Another category of curves are called polygons. A polygon is simple, closed, and made up of only straight line segments like the figure on the right. The line segments are called the sides and the points at which the sides meet are called the vertices. Polygons that have all sides of equal length and all angles of equal size are called regular polygons. Polygons can be categorized according to whether they're convex or not convex. The polygons that fall into the category of regular polygons are highly recognizable. We use them a lot. And these are always convex. One way to classify polygons is according to the number of sides. You're probably familiar with most of these terms. A three-sided polygon, for example, you probably know is called a triangle. Now a four-sided polygon, the general category is called quadrilaterals. We're going to talk about different types of quadrilaterals in more detail. But quad, the prefix quad, means four, so four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. Do you know what a five-sided polygon is called? If you said pentagon, you're correct. A six-sided polygon is called a hexagon. A seven-sided polygon is called a heptagon. An eight-sided polygon is called an octagon. Nine-sided polygon is a nonagon, and a ten-sided polygon is called a decagon. Now these names do not imply that these are regular polygons that have all the same size sides. A regular three-sided polygon is called an equilateral triangle. A regular four-sided polygon is called a square. And for the rest of them, you can just tack the word regular onto the beginning of the 
name and you get the name of the regular version of the polygon. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.